Hi there, I'm Caitlin Hertel, the Space Apps 2020 Ambassador, and I'm here to tell you how to navigate a NASA hackathon. So first off, hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a data scientist by day and a hacker by night. I'm a two-time Space Apps NYC Challenge winner and global nominee in both 2016 and 2019, and a one-time global finalist in the overall NASA Space Apps Challenge in 2016. I'm also the co-director of the Space Apps NYC organization that has meetups throughout the year and hosts the NASA Hackathon in October. You can find me on Twitter at Caters Potatoes, on Instagram at Caters Potatoes 19, and LinkedIn, just Caitlin Hertel. So first, let's talk about establishing a brand for you and your project. First, you wanna come up with both a team name and a project name right away, and you want to get that name out to the public. You definitely want it to be something clever, but relating to your project in some way. Then you wanna get on social media, especially Twitter, where the tech community is the most involved, and introduce yourselves. Each member of your team should have an individual tweet with a little bit about them so that anyone on your page can get to know your team better. Use the provided hackathon hashtags. Judges are watching these, trust me. They're there for a reason, they were created for a reason, and they're being monitored throughout the hackathon. And keep us updated. Major pivot in your project design? Tell us why. When judging, this might come in handy to help us understand your thought process. And show the world your big wins, but also show us the hurdles that you're facing too. Who knows, someone might be watching who can help. Try to use hashtags that are relevant to your project and the, the type of data you're using for your project. Sometimes people who are watching those hashtags might chime in with some helpful information. There was definitely a couple of times throughout my hackathon experience where some scientists actually chimed in with really helpful advice. And I don't think that would have happened had we not have been so active on social media. And speaking of social media, Let's hop over to show some of our social media from the Unicode Unicorns. Um, this was the team that won the New York City Hackathon last year. Um, so this is where we start for 2019. As you can see, we took lots of pictures. Um, we also tweeted a, a lot of different um, facts. We tried to keep it interesting so that people would actually pay attention to our feed. We tried to retweet other participants, um, keeping everyone involved and engaged. Um, and we showed our process. And of course, we were a little bit silly. As you can see here, uh, we made a Unicode Unicat. Um, but we definitely documented our, our process. We have a milestone achieved here. A little bit more about me, looking at our, our computer in a surprise method. Um, but we eventually we show our data we do show our project um, we have our demos up um, all this good stuff and you know because we were so active on uh social media we actually do have followers and if you look at our, at our followers a lot of them are scientists a lot of them are people are different um, nasa organizations this ice service this has all to do with our project so we were able to establish a name for ourselves and that ended up helping us a lot and then for my other project the stellar folds so this was the 2016 project back when tumblr was still a thing we documented our entire process here we started from when it was just an idea in our heads um, all the way to switching office rooms because we, we outgrew our space, um, our whiteboarding sessions, our name update, um, some of the, the fun videos of us doing our mesh network of origami robots that are self-propelling. We showed our prototype working in different stages. Um, as you can see, this is our tumbleweed just moving around in the wind organically on its own. And of course, being a little silly, keeping it fun, entertaining. And of course, we have our presentation video up here as well. So you just wanna document your process as much as humanly possible. This will not only come in handy if the judges end up on your page for them to understand your process, but also when you're looking back on your project later on and you ever wanna continue with it, then you'll know exactly where you left off. Next, let's talk about the data. NASA has 42,942 open source data sets, so use them. 
We want to see you using the data that's open to everyone to demonstrate that you don't have to physically go into space or even work for NASA to change the world. Everyone who has access to a computer has access to this data. So show us what you can do. It's all about how you slice and dice and ingest the data. Any way that you find patterns or trends is going to be unique to your project. And here is a link of where you can find all the open data. And here on that page, I have um, a Mars search already done just to show an example. You can see that we have over 1,400 results of different data sets involving Mars. We've got the Photos API, the Map Catalog, the Atmospheric LiDAR, and so many more. Um, you can really search for anything in here and find what you're looking for. I highly encourage you to use this. And when in doubt, Google is your best friend. If you can't find the data in here, I'm willing to bet you'll find a data set somewhere on Google. So definitely use the tools that are provided for you. And start your presentation early. I cannot stress this enough. This is arguably as important as all the work that went into your project in the last 48 hours, because this is your chance to speak directly to the judges. Tell them why your project is important and how it meets the criteria of the challenge that you chose. And be quick and to the point. You wanna talk about your data collection process, but don't have time in the video? Then write about it in your project description. Assume that the judges are looking at everything on your project submission pages. So make sure to document, 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 and include everything. Now let's take a look at some of the submission pages for some of my previous projects. Um, here's the Unicode Unicorn, so you can see Global Nominee. This is the challenge that we chose, Chasers of the Lost Data. The name of our project for your ice only, our demo video. Um, we have a quick synopsis of our project, and then we go into detail, especially mentioning our data sources. And we also go into next steps. So if we had more time, how would we change the project or what would we do in addition to what we already did? It's really important to know your plans for the future of your project as well. Next, we have the page for Tumbleweed. As you can see, a uh, global finalist, and we have our demo video here, as well as a link to the challenge that we, um, we did for this hackathon. We have our team picture, and then of course our explanation, um, and a link to the Tumblr that you already saw. And lastly, be flexible, be prepared, and be conscious of time. Things will go wrong, and that's normal. Go with the flow, pivot, and move on. You don't have time to dwell on the things that didn't go right. And halfway through, you might realize that you're headed in the wrong direction. Be prepared to change what you're doing on a moment's notice. And keep an eye on the time. You only have 48 hours, and trust me, they go by fast. Have any questions for me? Tweet me, at Caters Potatoes. Thanks, and good luck.